Yes. It's still. But you can't be any geek off the street. You gotta be handy with the steel if you know what I mean. Her. Keeping it real. My name is Steven and this is Steel Keeping It Real. So you know what today is. That's right, it is BTS Saturday! Because it is BTS Saturday, what I like to do is go back to where it all began and work their albums and their songs in chronological order. If a new song happens to come out, then I'll do that one, and then I'll go right back to where I left off in the list. So, um, one thing I found out, because I've been going off of this list from the very beginning, and this list left off some albums. And I'm like, oh my lord, how can you do that? I was relying upon you guys. So one album that I'm going I'm going to do is an album I should have done maybe an album or so ago, and that is the BTS World album, the one for their game. And this one, I honestly I've done one song off of this album, and it's the one they did with um, Juice World All Night. I did that song already on my channel, and. and um, so, there, that's a good thing. The bad thing is that I missed the other three songs that were on the album, and that's what I'm going to do. Um, the first song is going to be called Dream Glow, with Charlie XCX, and it's ma mainly Jin, Jimin, and Jungkook are the ones on this uh, track. So uh, that's what I'm doing, and I, I mean, I have big expectations because it's, you know, it's for their uh, their game. So I'd like to see what they envisioned to be on that game. Now, uh, as you can see, I'm wearing a shirt. All you can see is old, but it says old school. But it doesn't matter because I'm old. <laughs> that's all you can see. I'm old, but. Um, I, I, you know, I'm devastated. There's a couple more albums that, that it's showing me that the other list didn't do, so I'm going to get to those. And the other list that I got also lists all of the solo projects uh, by by some of them. So I'm getting ready to that old list and coming with this new list to finish off. You know, like I said, I want to get up to date with BTS, so... Um, I know it's still going to be a little while before I do that, but you know what? I'm enjoying this journey that I'm going down, and uh, you know I've been able to see them go from teenagers to young adults to you know almost their 30s. Uh, so it's it's almost like your own child, so to speak. Or, or watching a, a TV show that's been on forever and just watching these kids grow up and the next thing you know you see the kid with the beard or, or mustache you're like, oh, man, has it been on this long? But yes. So, uh, if you like videos like this and others on my channel, please don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification button because I'm doing at least 15 videos each and every week. So, without any further ado, here is BTS and Dream Glow. And here we go. I spent my whole life following the night I can't see the stop sign, what you gonna say? Wondering quietly, right into my dreams It's all that I see, what you gonna say? Always feeling something real, something real Oh, 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 sometimes I turn to blue oh, oh. 
Because as I'm watching the lyrics video, like I'm going to be showing you guys, I don't see Jen singing. Or I don't hear Jen singing. And I don't see the little light go on him. It's just Jimin and Jungkook. What's up with that? I don't know. Um, hmm, interesting. Maybe, you know, I would think this person who has... 34,510,000 views would have gotten it right. Tell me if I'm wrong. Put it down in the comments. Am I, if, is, it, is it me or is it the song or the video that was done? But either way, it was a good song. Um, it had that upbeat feel, yet a little bit like there was something wrong with it. And I'm not saying that in a bad way. I mean, like, that's the tone of the song because it wasn't like, this isn't like a summer song or anything like that. There's a little bit of danger that's lurking within the, 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 the notes of the song. So they're not quite, you know, everything is not good. And, you know, with the lyrics set that they're saying, in the glorious future, it just stop for a second, will glow. Um, but uh, I remember... Uh, Jimin's part said something like, uh, I never lose, um, something to that effect. Um, I, I don't quite understand, and I'm sure somebody will tell me exactly what this song means, uh, but I did like the way the song sounded. It, it, it was almost like a, a, a hurried up type of feeling, uh, but it also sounded like one of those songs you can close your eyes to and just get lost in. Uh, maybe it's the reverb, I don't know. But it works, it works. And when you have these two sweet voices, that I think it's just the two, uh, of Jimin and Jungkook on top of this, and you know, and then you throw in Charlie XCX, which I'm not too familiar with, uh, uh, but I, I've heard of her before but I'm not familiar with her music. Uh, it acts as an interesting dynamic to it, and uh, it works. It works for me. Uh, tell me what you guys think. Is, is this an underrated song, or is it something that ARMY is well aware of, and they, you know, it's, it's, it's a favorite, or it's like, eh, it's okay. Let me know what you think about the song. Um, one thing I also wanted to bring up is that when I was looking for uh, a, a picture of the album, I found this. Let me move over to the side. I found this. And this was on a, a website called Macari. And the album, the, in its biggest form, Somebody's trying to sell for six hundred dollars with the posters and the pods and the you know postcards and the album and the CD and uh, six hundred dollars. And I know there are some of you out there that are just saying, "Take my money, please." And I'm like, "No, that's a concert ticket right there. If I'm going to pay six hundred dollars, I want them in my living room 
or being like close enough that I'm in the same room with them, not just have their music. You know, nowadays when you can download any any song off of YouTube or somewhere on the internet, you know, having that doesn't mean. Now, of course, if you're a teenager or a young adult, you know that this is like. Um, the end of the world to you. You gotta have this, and um, but when you get to be my age, like uh, uh-uh, that's rent money. <laughs> that's 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 nowadays. That's a tank of gas, <laughs> depending on what kind of car, uh, vehicle you drive. Gas is too damn high, man. It's too damn high. It's like I can't even I can't even go anywhere because I can only afford to put like a couple of gallons in my car and that's just to drive around and do my normal shit if something else happens where I gotta you know maybe I got a doctor's appointment on the other end of the town I'm screwed I am screwed Uh, I just paid my rent um, earlier this week that was way too much, and then after everything was said and done, I was left with like twenty-five dollars to my name, and all that went on food just to survive. It's hard out here for a pimp, but I like the song. Um, if you are still here, I thank you very much for staying tuned. I really do appreciate it. First and foremost, I want you guys to like the video as much as I like making it for you. Then after that, all you need to do is to like, subscribe, share, and comment. 